Yo, what's up, everybody? A uh, couple, couple great things today. First, I want to talk about we got ten subscribers on the channel. Um, we are ten subscribers on the channel. Let me say it one more time. We got ten subscribers to the channel. Tell your friends about the channel. Um, come and check us out live on Twitch TV, Small City Gaming. Um, check us out live, Facebook, check the Facebook page out, check out everything us, man. We always, always on some good, good, good shit. All right. This video is going to be a very short video. This ain't going to be the main one. Um, but I'm just going to talk about what I see with operation four. Um, so far well, operation four came out a week ago. Um, and it was pretty, I, I would say it is the most anticipated operation yet right and it seems like with everyone they are they are um, they are pretty much up in the ante and I like that I think it's going in a good direction in this video I'm just going to touch up on it really quickly I want to talk about what I see so far from the uh, ranking system the new one that they uh, put in and I also want to talk about the store and the gears coins On this operation compared to the other operations and how they have it set up with the gears coins that i will not have to spend a dime out of pocket see the way they had it set up was you buy the iron you have some iron you could buy certain things or they had it to where you have the, the characters totem and then you could do a lot of work which 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 could take a little bit of time um and that was worse when they first started the totems because you had to do multiple things the last one was pretty straightforward you pretty much get the totem and then you um and then you just get like 30,000 XP which you can do in, in a lot of different game modes. So they pretty much made it straightforward. But now with the gears coins, you really don't have to worry about that. You pretty much can just grind the gears coins and then buy whatever character you want it. I think it's going to be a large portion of the stuff that comes through the store is going to be able to be purchased. So as far as what they've done with the store, I believe it's a win for the players. Um, I haven't seen many complaints about it. Uh, most people always talk about the microtransactions, which involve you know changing the real money for the uh, game currency and then spending that. But they're letting you earn gaming currency, which is something I don't really see in many games. If there are other games like that, I'll probably give them a try please drop those down in the comments on that note one thing i don't know if it really got to you but it definitely got to me is the unwanted banners all right we don't have to deal with the unwanted banners anymore um they switched the scrap out for the gears coin which gave me a good bit of gears coin from the get-go um and i even bought a few banners but they are the ones that i want so i am totally happy with how the store is set up at this point if i have any problems or you know things in the future i'll definitely let you know so next what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about the ranking system this is one of the big changes that they made in operation four uh now what i will give them the advantage of this system clearly against the one that was previously um in effect this one is more transparent as you can see here it shows you like how many points you're going to get for this, how many points you're going to get for that. Uh, when you win a game, you get an extra 150. Um, when you move up the tiers of the ranking system, you end up having to use your gears points to enter a match. Um, and if you profit gears points, then you move up. If not, then you'll go down. So if you, you uh, lose the match and you spend, let's say you spend 150 gears points to enter the match and you lose and you're pretty much just you know um say you get 60 points from your play then you're going to end up losing 90 points which would in effect could drop you down to the uh, lower tier overall when it comes to the new ranking system compared to the old one from what i've seen so far and it's only a weekend and I'm only a bronze two player now. I'm definitely moving up, but I haven't had a lot of time to really play. So I'm just making this video kind of off the whim. 
but it does look better than what they had in effect before and I, and, and I'm good with that so I mean I haven't seen many people griping about it online which usually is a good indicator that it's that it's doing fine I mean if there's any issues that you see that I'm missing something that I really should look at please drop them down in the comments but I mean ranking systems are going to have their flaws like this ranking system is going to have a flaw there will be one that shows its head in the future but is it better than the previous uh, ranking system I think hands down it really is all right thank you everybody for coming by the stream remember catch me live i'm on twitch all right i'm on twitch i'm on youtube of course it's probably where you found this video stream here and i also stream on facebook so check us out little draven's gonna be there you gonna be there draven you gonna be there he's gonna be there right <laughs> all right thank you very much have a good day